Hello. This is RoboVoice and I welcome you to my channel. As promised in my previous video, I am building the new Edward P51D kit. In this video I want to show you the cockpit build. I use Tamiya sprue cutters for cutting parts and then clean them up with real man knife. Parts are simply added together and some Tamiya thin glue is applied. Quite straightforward, cut, clean and glue. You will see that the cockpit is extremely well detailed and has many parts. It looks like building 132 scale plane, just a bit smaller. Ha ha. I use tweezers for small parts or my flimsy fingers. Painting. Firstly, shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it. I cover all the parts in black color first. Robo voice uses Valo black color. Two reasons for black color. It gives nice shadowing and color tone variation when interior green is applied. Second reason, Valo interior green does not spray well on plain plastic hence some base color is needed. I spray very thin layers and apply three or four coats. It dries really quickly so the next coat can be applied within five minutes. Quality control seems to be acceptable. Valo interior green. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Same as before. Apply very lightly. Few coats needed. Drying time five minutes between the coats. Then I brush paint the small parts. Some people say that Valo model air paints are not suitable for that. But it works just fine for Robo voice. Cockpit flooring was made from wood and covered in black and slip coating in real aircraft. The black coating was grainy, hence I decided to brush it rather than spray it. I use Revlaqua black paint as it has different color tone from Valo black. Look how fast my hands are.
Some PE parts have to be bended. I have no tools for PE parts, hence using screwdriver for it. This is simple super glue, applied by toothpick. That's how small some parts are. They are very difficult to apply with flimsy fingers and even tweezers. I simply put a tiny amount of blue tack on the toothpick so it can pick up such small parts. Some PE needs to be painted. You cannot see it here properly, well I could not see it when I was painting it. Ha ha. Two toothpicks technique for applying small PE parts. Painting small parts. I am using Wargamer Insane Detail Brush by the Army Painter. One small part has been taken by Carpet Monster. Trying to find it. Crap. Found it. That's how it looks so far. No issues. Perfect fit. Applying few coats of clear gloss varnish. I use Revlaqua clear gloss for the job. Not the best for the airbrush. If you have any recommendations from acrylic range, I would love to see them in the comments. some Tamiya black wash to make the details stand out more. I use MIG thinner to clean the excess Washington it is very gentle thinner and does not damage acrylic paints.
I add some scratches and highlights with Revel Dust Grey color. Additional scratches added with Valo Metal Paints. I use simple oil paints to add additional color tones to the cockpit. This flooring part shows lots of wear and tear on the real aircraft. I imitate that with brown and white oil paints. So. The cockpit is completed. Only seat belts left. Many thanks for watching and listening. Your comments and feedback are always more than welcome. Enjoy the pictures and make sure you subscribe to this channel so can see how this beautiful kit is built further.